Hello everyone, this is Brother Jim, pastor of the Jackson Branch Bible Church, and my wife, uh, Sister Ruth Smith, and we are here tonight on behalf of WLJC, the Hour of Harvest, just uh, letting you know tonight that uh, Jesus is Lord, and what a, what a wonderful Savior we serve tonight. we just like to encourage you, amen, praise God, to keep uh, watching the, uh, the program each and every night. Uh, there's services, live services here. And operators are always on, on duty to take your call. Just one of the most wonderful things, amen, that could ever happen, amen, is just be a child of God. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us for the next 90 minutes during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We really hope that you will stay tuned because uh, we have a lot of good things to talk about. We talk about the Lord every night. We talk about what we know about Him, what we've been experiencing with Him. And our first praise report tonight I want to give, and that is a lot of you have been helping us pray for uh, Pastor Richard Hampton that had major surgery on last Thursday in uh, UK Hospital, and uh, they removed a cancer, uh, a tumor, or rather a tumor, off of his kidneys. That's what I'm trying to say. It was a, uh, it was a tumor on the on the kidney. So they had to lo uh, they lost the, the kidney. Well, uh, it was a, like a six-hour surgery, and uh, but he has done so well and progressed so well that uh, they released him this late this afternoon to go home. Mm -hmm. And so he is just doing really super good. And so that was, uh, uh, he lost the kidney, but you know, that's uh, the other one is working well and he is just uh, doing so much better. And he said the last time he was here and everybody was praying for him, he said God touched him. And so it's, it's apparent and here he's, uh, he has been able to have that major surgery and now they're sending him home. Well, we, and then there was, let's see, I had another praise report here too. A woman uh, was in a lot of pain and she was on four strong pain pills a day, but now she is pain free and, and is off of all of the pain medications. And so that is great. That's another praise report. I tell you, things happen when we pray, and that's why uh, here Dottie, she was healed of cancer because of prayer and because of the Lord's mercy, and so many other people have been healed of different things, and it's because people praying together is so strong, and that's why that we are always encourage us to pray together and, and just leave the results to the Lord. Well, tonight we want to read a scripture about God's mercies. You know, without His mercies, we would be gone, all of us. But Psalms 103, this is a Psalm of David. And it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of His benefits. Who forgiveth all of thine iniquities, and who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. 
For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. So the entire psalm is talking about God's mercies and his goodness and how, how he forgives all of our sins and he heals all of our diseases. And he redeems our life from destruction and crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies. I just love this psalm because it, it, tells, it tells a side of the Lord that we need to be reminded of every day. That's Psalms 103. If you can, read it and it will, it will help you. It uh, certainly will. And uh, so we have some prayer requests already in. Here's one for Di Diane Land uh, Stamper. She's in the Central Baptist Hospital in Richmond. Her kidneys have shut down and she's in a very bad shape. Uh, another one here says Linda has COPD. A woman has called for her husband that has leukemia and is hurting really bad. Judy from Barberville, stomach problems, not able to eat. And uh, another family from Corbin going through some really rough things. And uh, so there's a lot of needs already being represented, but, but we know that God does answer prayers. That's why we have faith every night to ask him for what we need. He is our only source. He is the one that can work when no one can hinder. He can put us back into health when, when no one else can. The doctors do a wonderful job. But they can't, uh, they do what they can, but God does the healing. So tonight, let's uh, just praise him for what he has done for these people and then to uh, ask him for what we need tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now. We thank you for touching Richard um, Hampton and letting him go home so early from the hospital and Lord, these other people that are sick and suffering, we know that you are a very mindful of where they are, what's going on with them. We thank you, Lord, that no one escapes your, uh, your attention. You love us all alike, and you want to heal us, and you want to forgive our sins, and you want us to prepare us for heaven. So tonight, Lord, those that have gathered in for the service, regardless of what state or what country they are, we ask for your mercies to be extended to them. We've just read this uh, chapter tonight on your mercies, and we thank you for your mercies, Lord. We thank you that you will do for us what man cannot do, and we praise you for that. We ask you to bless our singers and our phone operators and just give us a good service in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, tonight we have, uh, as our singing guest, we have Helen Lewis, Bluegrass Gospel. And she does have CDs, and she's from West Liberty. And the number there is 606-743-4047. And uh, so let's welcome uh, Helen Lewis Bluegrass right now.
got to come tonight. I've been having a lot of trouble, but the Lord can take us through everything. So y'all just have to pray for all of us. And I want to send a program out to everybody that's listening. All of our family that's home tonight. It's a sitting with my husband and all the friends at uh, McDonald's. They wanted songs, and Mildred and Audrey Staten wanted a song. So we're just going to do what we can do for the Lord. And we really appreciate y'all getting us to come because... <laughs> This is what keeps me going is when I work for the Lord. So I'm going to let my sister sing, Margaret Sargent. Lord, will you please hear my humble cry? You are the rock much higher than I. And Lord, I know that you're a shelter for me when temptations come. I am clinging to thee every day now lift my feet up higher above the mountains my soul will fly when I come to rest in the arms of Jesus forever to live in that city on high you are the rock and I'm never forsaken no matter how hard these trials may be and when this old world tries to overtake me cover my soul like a peaceful sea every day now lift my feet up higher song and he loves it so I want to send it out to him tonight and also Burl and Mel Melvin our boys that's home and all of them's sickly and on the sick list so just pray for us all the way all the way around these people out there can pray Jesus on the main line tell him what you want Jesus on the main line tell him what you want Jesus on the Just call him up and tell him what you want. If you want to go to heaven, tell him what you want. If you want to go to heaven, tell him 
If you're in the battle for the Lord and right, keep on the firing line. If you win, my brother, surely you must fight. Keep on the firing line. There are many dangers that we all must face. If we die of fighting, it is no disgrace. Coward in the service, he will find no place. So keep on the firing line. Oh, you must fight. Be brave against all evil. Never run nor even lag behind. If you would win for God and the righteous, keep on the firing line. God will only Soldier, he can trust. Keep on the firing line. If you wear a crown, then bear the cross you must. Keep on the firing line. Life is but to labor for the master dear. Help to banish evil and to spread good cheer. Great you'll be rewarded for your service. With a shout of welcome, we will all march in. So keep on the firing line. Oh, you must fight. Be brave against all evil. Never run nor even lag behind. If you would win for God and the righteous, keep on the firing line. Just keep on. Margaret's Dawn over here helping us on the base, and I'm Helen Lewis, and we got my sister Margaret Sargent, and she's going to tell her name. Roberta Madden. I couldn't think of her last name. Because I just got name. married a month ago. <laughs> yeah, she got her a new fellow, and I didn't know his <laughs> last name, so I just have to let her do that. But I've got one here that was wanting me to send out to Elmo Lewis. You sing it all the time, and I want to send it out to Angie Lewis and to... Alma and all the ones that goes over at Lick Fork Church because he used to sing this all the time and I'd get such a blessing out of Elmo singing this. It's called You Must Be Born Again.
come, our Lord will say, I've had enough of sin. This old world where people work, my name has come to an end. My people, they are tossed about, their cries have reached my throne. Oh, son, I'm sending you again. Go bring my children home. Go bring my children home to me. They've watched and waited for you. I've seen their tear-filled eyes before, and I know what they've been through. No more to be alone. So, son, I'm sending you again. Go bring my children home. When his own are gathered from this earth and its homecoming day, those that are left behind, it'll be too late. Pray. So be one of those to praise his name and children don't go wrong. Cause any day our God could say, Go bring my children home. Go bring my children home to me. They've watched and waited for you. here for somebody it's Alfie Clevenger wanted me to sing this and I'm going to try to sing it for her tonight I was thinking I wasn't aimed to come tonight I was aimed to cancel out and I'll tell you what come to me that let me know that the Lord wanted me to keep on going my husband was real sick and he couldn't come and I knowed I'd miss the fiddle so bad and I said Lord I would just call him and cancel and he said what if I asked you for a song and you don't have one I said Lord I'm going so we're doing our best tonight. Y'all just know that, that in times like this, it's hard to do, but I'm trying. I've got sweet heaven in my view.
I was showing uh, Cecil how to do this. I heard him on here the other night, and uh, I heard what happened to his banjo, so I was trying to show him tonight how I could do it. As we travel through the desert, storms beset us on the way. But beyond the river Jordan lies a field of endless day. Farther on, still go farther, count the milestones one by one. Jesus will forsake you never, it is better farther on.
A little boy stood gazing into the clouds above. I know my kite is still up there, for I can feel the tug. A smile then crossed his little face. The tug had made it real. That's just.
All right. Thank you, uh, ladies, for those uh, songs. Helen Lewis Bluegrass Gospel from West Liberty, Kentucky. They're going to be taking a break and get some uh, water to drink, and they'll uh, be back uh, shortly. But um, the, she does have CDs. You may call at 606-743-4047. Now, we know that uh, Helen's... Uh, uh, working under stress tonight because her husband is really sick and she, it's hard to for her not to uh, uh, keep her mind on him but she's done all she can and so she she came tonight to sing for the Lord all right they'll be back in a little bit though and um, well you've been hearing us talking about uh, WLJC going to high definition and uh, in the uh, studio here and so today the engineers and the equipment has arrived and so as of tonight uh, now we we hope we'll not have to be off the air very much because I think they're going to try to work uh, schedule the work to be at night to where that uh, we won't be on the, the live service and so uh, we're not sure how how many days this is going to take, but you pray for uh, all the engineers that has come. And, um, you know, to me, that's a very tedious thing when you start working with all those wires and everything. And um, everything has to just be exactly right or it won't work. And so uh, just pray for them that everything will go well and the equipment will be okay. And then we'll tell you, give you the progress as it goes along. Well, once again, if you didn't hear us at the beginning, we wanted to say we had a real praise report because uh, Pastor Richard Hampton was released from the hospital today after a very short stay. He had major surgery uh, last Thursday and uh, lost a kidney, but he is... Uh, uh, he is on his way home as we speak, and uh, so that is a real miracle because it was a major, a major thing. They thought that maybe this problem, this growth thing that was on the kidney, might have started way back in uh, when he was in Vietnam with that Agent Orange stuff that so many of the men had trouble with, and uh, so anyway, we're so thankful God has been merciful to Fred and. Well, to Fred and to Richard, we were all time praying, thinking about Fred Finley, and he needs, he continues to need prayer. Also, he is, the Lord has brought him through one, one dangerous low, uh, health wise, and then another one, but he keeps him going, and so uh, just pray for Fred too. But uh, you know, these, these are. Our friends that come and help the ministry and work and serve the Lord with us, and so we uh, we want to see them well with he with healthy bodies to where they can uh, do what uh, uh, is ahead for them. Well, uh, we we'll share some prayer requests uh, right now from St. Paul's, North Carolina. Brenda has called for her husband. He's a preacher. And he has eye problems and unable to read his Bible. And I sure know how that feels, and so does Fred Finley. I heard him talking the other night about uh, how many months that he was totally blind. Mm -hmm. Well, after I'd had my cataract surgery, I couldn't see. And I missed it so much uh, because a lot of times if I can't sleep at night, I get up and go read. And it's really bad when you're not able to. And so it makes you uh, praise the Lord for his goodness when you can see to read. All right, from here's some prayer requests. From Wolf County, uh, Roy has COPD, arthritis, and just needs a touch. Uh, Juanita from Wolf County, diabetic, and arthritis, blood clots in her lungs, and she can't walk. Uh, uh, here... Uh, Roy from Clay County wanted to hear uh, the, a song. Larry from Clay County needs prayer. Johnny Amberge from Wooten. Uh, Nelly, uh, Nelly has called, and uh, Nelly Wooten, I guess that is, Johnny's sister, has called for him. They used to come 
years ago and sing in a, a group and uh, said Johnny has uh, having trouble with his legs and the medication is not helping and so he Johnny Amberg needs needs prayer tonight Carl from Madison County he called for himself he's 83 uh, years of age uh, has COPD, sleep apnea, and, and uh, other problems with his eyes, and he just, he wants to get well. Uh, Bonnie, for her husband from Fayette County, digestive system is not working. Hammonds from Laurel County for her grandson he needs to be back in church and to rede rededicate his life to the Lord. Uh, Sherman from Pulaski County, uh, for Sister Frances said she just lost, she needs to return to preaching, doesn't have a church right now. Julie from Fayette County, uh, hernias uh, going into her lungs and um, okay, and other physical needs and cannot walk. Phyllis from Berea, pray for Albert says. Uh, and uh, here is for Colton, is in the hospital, pray that he will be well. Uh, Nora from Knott County for her sister that has cancer, had a lung surgery today. Brenda Rice has called for Angie Rice, uh, needs a touch from the Lord, but it, enjoying the singing tonight. Uh, Lois from Monticello for her brothers and sisters that needs encouragement from the Lord. Mrs. Simpson from Fayette County, uh, for two weeks she's had uh, migraine headaches. Uh, a lady uh, is in a lot of physical pain, and uh, uh, she's watching tonight, and so she was uh, nice to call in. Okay, here's uh, uh, from Powell County. There are several there that needs prayer. Well, I believe the group has come back, so we want them to get as many songs in as possible. And, and tonight we have Helen Lewis, Bluegrass Gospel from West Liberty, Kentucky. She does have CDs. And uh, the number is 606-743-4047. And let's welcome back now Helen Lewis, Bluegrass Gospel. There's a light in the window the table are spread in splendor someone standing by the open door I can see a crystal river that I must be near forever Lord I've never been this home sick before see the bright light it's just about home time And I can see my father standing at the door This old world's in a wilderness And I'm ready for deliverance Lord, I've never been this home sick Places they're all familiar, and no one is old and feeble anymore. Oh, this lonesome heart is crying. I think I'll spread my wings for flying, cause I've never been this home sick before. See the bright light shine. It's just about home time And I can see my father standing at the door This old world's in a wilderness And I'm ready for deliverance Lord, I've never been this home sick before Lord, I've never been this home sick before. Mm -hmm. 
that's why I'm the richest poor soul on this earth. I don't have a mansion, not very much gold. The house that I live in, it's small and it's old. But the walls ring out laughter, for God lives within. And I'd rather have him than a mansion, my friend. I know I'm the richest poor soul on this earth. If you judge me by my money, it's so little I'm worth. But the good Lord has blessed me since the day of my birth. That's why I'm the richest poor soul on this earth. On her table, there has always been plenty to eat. There's clothes on her back and shoes on her feet. Good neighbors on whom we can always rely. And friendship is one thing that money can't buy. soul on this earth if you judge me by my money it's so little I'm worth but the good Lord has blessed me since the day of my birth that's why I'm the richest poor soul on this earth these two strong hands he gave me to work and to play two eyes count my blessings as I meet each new day I listen and learn and I sing more and more and I feel so ashamed when I ask him for more. I know I'm the richest poor soul on this earth. If you judge me by my money, it's so little I'm worth. But the good Lord has blessed me since the day of my birth. And that's why I'm the richest poor soul. Send one out to Ishmael Sexton, my brother, and his wife, Phyllis Sexton, and the little boys that was down here with us before, and they couldn't get to come tonight, but I thank them a lot, and I appreciate them, and I appreciate everybody that's trying to work for the Lord, because we may not have a lot of time left, and everything we can do, we better do it, and mean business about it while we're doing it. Do it for a good purpose, so you can reach people and get them saved, because times are winding up on us. Standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day, when I heard that hers come rolling for to carry my mother away, will a circle be on
G-sharp. Last night while on my pillow, my heart began to pray. And I thought of my blessed Lord so kind. Walking miracle, a talking miracle. When Jesus reached, way down his hand and rescued me. He took the blame, he bore my pain, and I have never been the same since Jesus made a walking miracle. Walking miracle, a talking miracle. When Jesus reached, weighed down his hand and rescued me. He took the blame, he bore my pain, and I have never been the same since Jesus made a walking miracle out of me. He made the crippled man walk away. He healed the deaf and dumb and touched the blind man and made him see. And like the miracles he did back then, he's gone and done it once again and made a walking miracle out of me. A walking miracle. 
talking miracle. When Jesus reached way down his hand and rescued me, he took the flame, he bore my pain, and I have never been the same since Jesus made a walking miracle out of me. He took the flame, he bore my pain, and I have never been the same since Jesus made a walking miracle out of me. Just a little talk with Jesus set me free. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. He will answer by and by. Now when you feel a little prayer will turn and that you know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right and makes Sometimes my past seems drear without a ray of cheer. And Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. I go to him in prayer. He knows my every care. And just a little talk with Jesus makes me cry. Well, let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our famous cry, he will answer by and by. Now when you feel a little prayer will turn, and you know a little fire is burning, you'll find a little talk with Jesus makes it right, it makes it right. Sometimes my passing dear without a ray of cheer, and then a cloud of dark may hide the light. The mist of sin may rise and hide the starry skies, but just a little talk with Jesus saves the way. Well, let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our famous cry. He will answer by and by. Now when you feel a little prayer will turn and you know a little flower is burning. Find a little talk with Jesus makes it right, it makes it right. I may have doubts and fears, my eyes may fill with tears, but Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. I go to him in prayer, he knows my every care, and just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our plaintiff's cry. He will answer by and by. Now when you feel a little fire will turn, and you'll know a little fire is burning, you'll find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. It makes it right. You'll find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. It makes it right. There is nothing, no nothing, that my God can't do. He measured the sea in the palm of his hands. The mountains was placed at his command. The sound of his voice, the sun gave a gleam. There is nothing, no oh, nothing that my God can't do. There is no. There is nothing. 
every star when he hung them on high. The moon gave a glimpse across God's big skies. And the same mighty God can take a heart of stone. He can wash it and cleanse it and make it his own there is no Listen to the words of this song. Where's the spear that pierced his side when my Lord was crucified? If you're not serving him, it's in your hands. Where's the nails that nailed him there as he died? in deep despair if you're not serving him it's in your hands Christ is still the same he feels every pain when we disobey his commands where's the hammer drove the nails if his will now you fail I'm afraid my friend it's in your hands where's the blood that from him spilled that God's word might be fulfilled if you're not serving him it's on your hands Where's the crown of thorns he wore As the cross for me he bore If you're not serving him It's in your hands Christ is still the same He feels every pain When we disobey that drove the nails if his will now you fail I'm afraid my friend it's in your hands where's the hammer that drove the nails if his will now you fail I'm afraid my friend it's in your hands Thank you so much, Helen Lewis, <coughs> Bluegrass Gospel from West Liberty, Kentucky. And uh, she does have CDs, if you would, uh, thank you. Um, I'd like to order her CDs, 606-743-4047. Um, and you need to pray for Helen. Her husband is very, very ill. He was here last time with her and played the fiddle. And... Uh, but he was unable to come tonight, so pray for, for him that uh, God's will be done in his life. And uh, so we, uh, all right, all right, we uh, have some more prayer requests, and we have a special friend came in tonight, first time, first time we'd seen this pastor for a while, uh, and uh, he'd been... Uh, had a little accident with a, 
lawnmower or a team of mules or what was it you what it felt like a team of mules <laughs> but it was a lawnmower it was a lawnmower okay pastor scott rogers from down at uh, friendship baptist in Irvin, and uh, so it's good to have you back so so you've been helping on the phones tonight we've what been busy on the phones tonight I had yeah. a lot of calls okay what uh, what do you have there you want to share uh the folks from west liberty nursing home called in said they were watching the uh, this group goes up and plays for them sometimes. I uh, talked to a lady named Mickey from Knott County. She needs a healing touch tonight. And uh, Frances from Crab Orchard, uh, her friend Hartzell had a stroke. And a lady from Lee County, uh, Lowell Thomas is, is her husband. He got his hip broke at work. And, uh, uh, COPD in Whitley County, and uh, lady has a just getting over blood clots and so many different ones. Uh, uh. All right, a lot of requests coming in tonight. Here uh, we want to pray for uh, Bill Wesley. He's another pastor, and he's uh, having some trouble with his legs, and so. Physical needs there from Fayette County, a widowed lady having test run. Stella from McGolfin County for her husband that has cancer and the children needs to be saved. Earl and Goldie from uh, Mount Sterling, from from Mount Vernon, a lady's, uh, her heart's in AFib and she's uh, getting terrible headaches from it. And a niece, uh, from Knox County is uh, in Florida going for tests tomorrow. Patricia from Floyd County has double pneumonia, but is at home now and wants a complete healing. Lily from Rock Castle for a daughter that's uh, in a lot of pain. You know, several people have called tonight with pains in their legs, uh, like arthritis and so forth. And here's for a great granddaughter that has cancer. And uh, from Lincoln County, Wayne, for a niece, a niece got saved last night. So thankful. That's a praise report there. Norma from Hyden, her husband, is very critically ill and subject to pass at any time, it says. Floyd County arthritis. The daughter has a, a bad rash from London. Prayer for healing. Uh, Mr. Simpson from Harlan County is uh, bulging disc and pinched nerves and... Uh, uh, neuropathy, I think that is. Patricia and Ronnie has called, and uh, Joseph from Fayette County. He always calls and says he is a happy Christian. And you know, I like that. It's too bad it can't rub off on some more, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, Scott, what would you like to share with the people? You've not been here for a while, so you'll have to talk double here well, tonight. Well, I haven't been here for a long time now. Uh, so thankful for everybody that's prayed for me. Mm. I tell you what, I came very close to getting hurt uh, very badly. Oh. And I uh, had a compression fracture of my L1 vertebrae mm. and uh, wrecked a zero turn lawnmower. I wrecked that lawnmower and I've had people left and right tell you know, I've done the same thing. I've done the same thing. I put mine in the ditch. I said, where was you at before I wrecked the thing? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this before? Why didn't you tell me this afterward? But, uh, oh. I'm thankful to, uh, you don't realize uh, the people that praise for yes. you in a day's time. And how important it is. And uh, it's very easy to take stuff like that for granted. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I had this lady come up and tell me after church, she said, you ought to hear my four-year-old pray for you every night. Oh. I had another lady, you ought to hear my six-year-old, my eight-year-old pray mm -hmm. for you every night. Mm -hmm. Now, buddy, that'll get it done. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Because they don't put on no airs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They just pray and say, God, Brother Scott needs you to touch his back. Mm -hmm. And they believe him to do it. Yes. And then they go on and play. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And we, uh, they have I don't live know. long enough to doubt the Lord, have they? And they don't have to put no pretension in there mm -hmm. or no pride or, or no. try and think they have to pretty it up. No way. They just call him Father, yeah. tell him what they need, and expect him to do it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why we get away from that, uh, but we do. And there's no sense in it because no. uh, he just said to have a childlike faith. Yeah. Yeah, he did. For such is the kingdom of heaven in Matthew chapter 18. Yes. And I don't know why we ever get away from that. So I've, I've, I've had to learn a few things over the last mm -hmm. two months. Uh, 
I've learned you can do ministry without it necessarily being worship. Mm -hmm. Because you do it every day. Yes. And you get in the routine of doing it. And sometimes we can uh, be like Martha. And we get concerned with many things. Yes. Even though they're good things and mm -hmm. they're right things to do. When really all he wants us to do is be like Mary and sit down at his feet sometimes. Him, yes. And spend time with him in worship. Mm -hmm. And I'd got to that point where I was just running night and day. Mm -hmm. And Mamma Rogers always said, Son, one of these days you're going to meet yourself coming. Mm -hmm. Well, I met myself coming mm -hmm. April 22nd. And uh, I had to sit down for a little bit and mm -hmm. rethink some things. And I've had some wonderful time with the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, written some uh, songs and written sermons and mm -hmm. uh, spent time on the phone talking to people. And uh, it's really been, believe it or not, this broken back has really been a blessing. And uh, I don't mean that to sound pious or spiritual or anything like that. Sometimes the Lord has to break you back sometimes before you realize yeah. what's important and realize you need yes. to do it His way yes. and not just do it and expect Him to catch up and bless it because it's something good. It has to be His thing. Yes. And we need to be following Him at all times. Yeah. And so uh, uh, this really has been a, a blessing to me. Uh, and uh, I, I thank Him for it. Well, you know, in, in, uh, in the valley, He restores our soul. And you know, I've often said that we learn a lot about ourselves and about the Lord when we get down and not able to work. And uh, uh, like, like Scott said, the first thing we need to do is we learn to start really totally depending on Him. And because uh, uh, He is our only help. He's our only one that can pull us out of it. And, but I'm so glad He doesn't <clears throat> just walk off and leave us when we when we've acted a little silly and got, uh, got too busy to remember how he is supposed to be first in our life. If he cares about a sparrow yes. that falls, he yeah, cares about me when I fail. Yes, yes. He's only expected one person in history to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And he fulfilled that because it was Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he knows we're not going to be perfect. He doesn't mm -hmm. expect us to be perfect. Mm -hmm. He just expects us to come to him when we fall. Yes. And when we fail, and he's always willing to take us back in mm -hmm. and to wrap his arms of love around us and, around us and, and forgive us. And uh, I don't know why. Because his love, we can't understand. We can't. His mercy is just beyond understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, if you live for the Lord a long time, you learn some things. But then we begin to realize how little we know because he's so great. And we just keep going and keep learning, and, uh, and but that'll be true till the day we leave here, and then we'll, then we'll get to be with Him. Well, Brother Scott, I believe we'd better pray for these requests. If you will, you've already anointed them, and so if you would lead us in prayer. There's a lot of other people going through serious trials right now, that's been in the ministry for a long time, and so they need we need to, uh, you know, pray for them. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. Lord, as we come to you tonight, Lord, we thank you for a wonderful service tonight. We thank you for anointing these singers tonight, Father. We thank you for the spirit that you've given to them and the spirit that they came into the building with tonight, Father. Yes. Uh, uh, just hearts to, uh, to worship you, Father, and just humbly praise you, Lord. And we know that you blessed them because of it. And Lord, we lift these prayer requests up to you tonight, Father, for every uh, person that's hurting tonight with a, a physical need, uh, for every person with a... Uh, an emotional need, Father, and, yes, and so many people right. call in uh, yes. that's lonely, Father, and just want to hear another human voice, Father. And we're so thankful to to be here for them and to be that for them. And uh, Lord, we uh, just pray to touch each one, and Father, we lift up uh, all those who are in the ministry tonight, Father. Yes, uh, so yes. many people, uh, vacation Bible schools and and pastors uh, taking place now. This is a busy time of year, Father, and Lord, we just pray that uh, we'll never get so busy that. Our work doesn't, uh, that it ceases to be worship, Father. Yes. And Lord, we always, all ministry should be an outflow of love for you. And uh, Lord, may it always be that. And we uh, pray for anybody who's uh, under trials, Father. I know uh, so many churches are without pastors now. And uh, Father, we just pray that you'd send them 
uh, a shepherd, Father, that would lead them and love them and encourage them, Father. And, uh, Lord, we just uh, lift up this ministry to you tonight, Father, and thank you for uh, continuing to bless it, Lord, and pray that you always will. And Lord, we'll be careful to praise you for it. And Lord, we pray and ask it in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, it's been good to have Brother Scott back with us tonight. And, uh, and so, uh, <clears throat> and the singers, and we've all been able to do a little something for the Lord tonight. And, you know, another thing that's going to, uh, that we want to remind you to pray for, and that is this week, uh, WLJC is beginning the process of going high definition. And that uh, the engineers and a lot of the equipment has arrived today. We've got it all over here. Make us look better. Oh, Don's in hopes it's going to make us look better. You think it will, Scott, or do you think it, <laughs> it, it might be? It'd be awful good camera for him. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Uh, well, anyway, it uh, it's supposed to, we're supposed to get some new cameras and so forth, and these have been worked on a few times, and so I'm sure if there's any improvement, it'll help. And uh, But anyway, it's a very tedious thing, and uh, so we hope to have most of the work done uh, after the service at night so we won't have to go off the, be off the air for any this week we hope but if if so uh, we'll be back right back now um, uh, our friend down in harlan county uh, harvey napier said that the tv was off uh, yes or last night and and his uh, at his house and we don't know why it wasn't us working on the equipment so that's what he wanted to know but it uh, it was not us you know working and so it must have been the cable some way but uh, anyway just pray for the ministry there's lots and lots of things that at all time trying to hinder the work of the Lord it's a constant thing Satan does not like Christian uh, music and uh, words of encouragement prayers are going out and another thing we need to praise the Lord for is that uh, Richard Hampton was released from the hospital today yeah. and is on he's probably home by now and that was a major surgery that he had he lost a kidney but he's uh, he was doing so well yesterday and then today they released him said he was a model patient and had done so much more than what they expected him to and so they said let him go home but that's prayer that's what prayer can do prayers of agreement are so strong well once again thanks for everyone that's come to help tonight scott don't let it be so long to come back and so i hope it's not yes and uh, watch out for those lawn mowers and <laughs> motorcycles or whatever yeah all right our time is coming gone for another night be sure and pray now for uh helen and her family because her husband is getting close to going home to be with the lord and uh, there's not anything else that can be done here for him but the lord has promised us healing either here or over there so we get our healing but it's sometimes not when we expect it from all of us here, we will say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606 464-3600 or write to WLJC P.O. Box Y Beattyville, Kentucky 41311 Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.
mercy and grace.